my boys i just want to point something out here and i want to just say this before we get started today konami knew what they was doing okay now i'm gonna take you back to the beginning this game was released in january and obviously it didn't come with everything in the game instead of just playing master duel like everybody else i decided to go back to my locals and learn how to play some Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game and when i did that i came across a cacophony of disgusting decks the things that i will say that pointed out to be the most annoying the most irritating prank kids with full power and that has been since taken care of in the tcg and in master duel and other places too like prank kids is not as strong as it used to be but now with the new adventure stuff i'm sure it is back on the radar in some way shape or form uh soul sword soul sword tingy freaking um dpe flounderies those are like the four most annoying things of in Yu Gi Oh of the last six months and now we are at this very disgusting point where all of this shit is in master duel i played a match i just played a disgusting match man and it pissed me off it made me turn this fucking game off it made me turn this goddamn game off that match is in this video my boy but before we even look at that match i want to play a couple games on boy i've been getting in there with the dragon maids and i made a pretty spicy competitive build but at the end of the day we are dealing with forces of the likes which you have never seen in a disgusting format that is only one game and move on so that means that you are open to literally every possible danger in the meta game past present and future konami has created a perfect storm of hell with no limited or restricted list strong enough to contain these disgusting cards it's gonna be a hard time for everybody i it is it, it's, it's a hard time my boy it's a hard time especially if you're trying to play with something like dragon maids so this is a video is a bit of a disclaimer too dragon maids ain't it dragon maids does not have what it takes to go to the next level and beyond like you can crack dragon maids and have a good hand on dragon maids but if stuff starts to get interrupted in dragon maids or you have to make too many concessions in dragon maids before you know it you're at a steep disadvantage and it only takes one or two cards for your opponent to overtake you so my personal opinion dragon maids is not it but this deck is definitely fun and close to it being it it just, you know, it just can't take everything. So let's get into it. And my luck just ain't it either. Cause your boy got here, gotta perform miracles just to, just to play the damn game. And then people scoop off a damn fucking right. Like they scoop off the adventure. It's so annoying. Like this, like this, the state of the game right now is so annoying. If you aren't scooping immediately off the sight of a single card, you somehow have every answer to every card possible. That's just been my experience playing Dragon Maze. Either they can answer every single card or they scoop when they see right. Activate right. Ah, uh, droll and lock. I already had the big chicken. I already had it. Yeah. Huh. Looks like I won't be adding. I'll just be equipping directly from my deck, you fool. <laughs> my droll and lock bird was useless. That's right, Timmy. <laughs> and now you're gonna die. I mean, I could go help you fight, or I could go DPE. Actually, I'll go DPE. I prefer DPE. I prefer DPE. Yeah. I, well, I was gonna go Halky Fibrax into um, into uh, what's my jig? Uh, uh, Appaloosa. But instead, I chose DPE. Go Verte. All right. So 
busted, I know. We've got right DPE combo with um, this. It's pretty good. Yay! Of course. Yeah. Of course. That's funny. Draw. I'm using Dasher. Yeah, you're about to get blown out, sir. Oh, that's funny. I was gonna use Dasher. Let me see what else I got in here. Oh yeah, I was gonna use Dasher. Now I'm just gonna ash. Now I'm just gonna ash the Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> you somehow have every answer to every card possible. MST! Uh, that's fine by me. You can have that, sir. I'm about to finish you. All right. I want that Draco back. Yep. Let's draw cards. <laughs> this is what I was looking for. The to clap anime cheeks. Get you out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get you out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get you out of here. Yeah. What dragons do we have? Oh, we do have a dragon. Let's do it. I'm going to bring. <laughs> All right. All right, Effects Valor, stop. All right, well now we'll see what else he's got. Stop. Good. Good. Wonderful. All right. So for my first trick, I'm gonna activate my dragon's made hospitality. He's gonna ash it. Then we're gonna finish him up real good. If he doesn't ash it, then that's gonna be crazy. Oh, he's gonna do this to it. Okay. Summon my dragon maid. Use her effect. All right, we're gonna be grabbing this card. We're gonna need that later. All right, then we're gonna activate the water enchantress. Banish it for the right. I've had a Messiah. Ah, yeah. This is gonna be pretty spicy. Activate the right. Summon a broken token. And then we're gonna super play the spell. And then we're gonna super equip after we super search and super summon. <laughs> so add, and then we're gonna discard Titan. And then we're going to use our effect and activate to summon an attack position. This is where it's about to get broken. Summon this in attack position. And then we're gonna use the uh, continuous spell to equip the Draco back. Yes, sir. All right, we got the Draco back equipped. Now this is where it gets broken. We're going to activate emergency teleport, teleporting out a copy of our Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit. So now we got Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit on the field. We're gonna hit up Christron, Halky Fibrax. It's game time now, boys. Cause we set up the adventure token engine and now we're following up with Chris Rock, Healthy Fibrax. This is game time. This is game time. It's like, I got you, bro. It's like, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, my boys, we're going to do this a little bit different. A lot of people always say that they don't have time to look at the cards. They always say they can't see the cards. I can't make out the cards. I'm clicking on every card so that you know what we're playing, my boy. But right now, we're getting in there with Dragon Maids. Now, what's funny about this Dragon Maid deck is that I'm running a lot of cards to juice this deck up. And I mean a lot of cards. At the end of the day, I think that it's insane that I can fit all this into a 40 card deck and still get my anime cheeks peeled back, but it is what it is, my boy. So again, welcome to this Dragon Maid tutorial video. I'm your boy, YT Dan, and I've just clicked through the deck in its entirety, and now you can see it. No more complaining. Thank you very much. All right. Now look, what we're running in this deck primarily is the Adventure Engine which allows us to set up our four adventure tokens uh or not four adventure tokens our four adventure cards that pr pretty much supports an omni negate and a monster that needs to be attacked twice to be destroyed by battle or or a monster that needs to be destroyed twice um in one turn um pretty much oh and also the draco bag bounce uh pretty much we're setting that up and then we're looking to add to that combo by either adding a Herotic Heavenly Spheres, adding a Shio, adding a DPE, adding an Appaloosa. That's pretty much the gist of it. In this deck, you can do tons of combos, but the main bread and butter is, of course, Summoning Chamber Dragon Maid. This is arguably the best Dragon Maid, which is why there's no in-deck dragon for it to transform into. Also, this card will add a Dragon Maid from Spell or Trap from the deck to the hand, which is really good because you can add um, Dragon Maid Tidings to the hand and combine this with the effect of the, um, or with the combo line of uh, the Adventure Engine. Pretty much the Adventure Engine makes you discard a card. This is the card you need to discard. And by discarding this card, you can special summon a Dragon Maid card from your hand or from the graveyard to the field. And then of course, if you do that and you summon these small maids like chamber maid or kitchen maid or uh, parlor maid, you'll get their effects once they hit the field if you haven't already done so. Um, basically, it's really easy to just pop off on this combo because the adventure combo, you can see it through Foolish, you can see it through uh, Rite of Armasir, and you can see it through the Warden Enchantress, obviously. Um, but also, we have like a lot of different cards to combo into that because if you can get the one for one going, you can special summon out the Black Metal Dragon. And if you can get Black Metal Dragon out, you can search your deck and then grab Red Eyes Darkness Metal, which works really great in this deck, special summoning dragons back to, to the field, more synchro, more, well not synchro, more link and more fusion fodder. Primarily, like I said, you're setting up the adventure engine and then putting something next to it. Um, you know, that's real easy to show you in a couple of like these combo videos, but also I got some tilt just to show you right now, just to be truthful, the dragon maids are not it. Dragon maids need too much to support itself. There's so many decks out there right now that runs really strong one card combos. Dragon maid needs at least two or three cards to get rolling and Sure, you can play Dragon Maids with other combos, but using Celine, for example, and her combo within the Adventure Package for game, you might as well just play Adventure Package and Celine. The Dragon Maids are unnecessary. So that just kind of shows you here that this Dragon Maid deck is more of a casual deck, a fun deck. You know, you can play it as competitively as possible, but you're gonna have a hard time, which I'm hoping that you can see through these replays. So catch me, my boys, in the next video or stream. And as always, keep it dank. Now you ash. <laughs> now you ash. You maniac. You maniac. You fool. You fool. You dumb dummy. Uh. Now he ashes. What a moron. Um, Maxi, I don't give a. F <laughs> yeah, now you ask, sure. Yeah, after after you miscorrectly played Ash, I don't care what you do, good sir. All right, get your little one back. 
No way! No way! No way! He top decked Nibiru. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh man, come on, man. That's just bad luck, bro. Who does that, bro? The forehead top deck the Nibiru. Don't believe it. The forehead top deck the Nibiru, man. I hate this dude so much. I hate that I gotta do this. And then he gets to draw a freaking card off of that. Trash. Absolute trash. Who top decks Nibiru off Max fucking C? Fuck you. I'm impairment. Congratulations, scrub. Stop that and summon my monster back. How about that? Well, shield effect. Chamba, Chamba. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done, bro. I can't do this no more. I'm done. I'm absolutely done.